Hi. I thank you so much for giving me your trust and some of your time to see this video recording. In this video, I will guide you on how to create a chat GPT account. Chat GPT is an AI tool and you can capitalize on it to accomplish many positive things in time. It's easy to use and one way you can use chat GPT is to use it to challenge yourself. You can write a code and then ask chat GPT to write the same code. Then you compare who did it better. You will see that in the course of this video. You need a browser, you need internet, you need a valid email address and a valid mobile number to create chat GPT account. The GPT means is an AI term. Let's open browser to start. We go to openai.com slash chat GPT. We press enter. This is it. Then we click sign up. We enter our email address. We click continue. We enter our password. We click see they sent us verification email we just click to verify our email we enter our first name Just leave this blank, enter your birthday, we click continue, then we enter, select the country you are from and enter your phone number. We click send code to the mobile number. Then we enter the code here. Here, you should select this. That's it. That our goal is to get external feedback in order to improve our systems and make them safer while we have 
safeguards in place, the system may occasionally generate incorrect or misleading information and produce offensive or biased content. It is not intended to give advice. Also, conversations may be reviewed by our AI trainers to improve our systems. Please don't share any sensitive information in your conversations. Click next. This system is optimized for dialogue. Let us know if a particular response was good or unhelpful share feedback here so we click done that's it we've created an account and to use chat gpt you just enter a question let's say we we can say create a navigation This is for web development and we click send message. He didn't write the code. I did this intentionally for you to know that what you get out of AI depends on the quality of your question. You heard a lot that, oh, chat GPT is super powerful. It is, but it's subject to human control, human intelligence. Now let's ask it the same question we just say write a navigation navigation code in html5 and press enter see see the difference the first question we say create a navigation and look at what it did see what this is not the answer if you are a web developer this is not what you need but now we reframe the question we say write a navigation code in html5 and it gave you exactly that see then you can just copy you can see here it says copy code then you can minimize this open your code editor so blank we paste what we copy from chat GPT. We click Control S to save. We say chat GPT nav dot HTML file. And we click save now let's click to view this in browser see what chat gpt wrote for us for now he did not only write the the html code but he also wrote the
the CSS. Now you can write your own code and see if you did if you can do better than chat GPT. So we have seen in this video that chat GPT follows the same rule for computing which is garbage in garbage out. The quality or how intelligent how super helpful chat gpt is depends on the quality of your question this is where we will stop keep using it and you should be better as as time goes by i like to hear your feedback where are you in the world is chat gpt free in your country please give feedback share the video let us know how you are using chat gpt please and remember to subscribe please thank you again for your trust and your time see you in another video i've got god i've got god we should be happier you're gonna learn something